section i am going to show you what is intelligence and why we use intelligence if intelligence not work in dot net how to resolve that issue i am going to show you in this video before continue continue this video section i am going to show you my previous videos i have mentioned my three videos title one is add question value to url without page load if you want add any question value to the same page url without page refresh how to add that i will i shown in that video and my second video is configuration manager is not working in edge block uh, for example if you add a uh, system dot configuration namespace in your uh, code behind file after adding that the configuration manager is not work so how to resolve that i shown that in my second video button click event fire every time when i page refresh how to prevent that i already shown that my third video you can watch that videos by clicking just on that link uh, now opening my visual studio uh, now let me show you what is intellisense uh, before that i want to add one namespace i'm adding the namespace system dot data dot spl client so what is intellisense intellisense nothing but when i enter spl connection whatever the list is showing here SQL connection, SQL connection string builder. There is nothing but intelligence. Or oh, whatever the key we enter, based on that, the whatever the list available in that query string, whatever the namespace I have mentioned in above, oh, all that list will be displayed based on this key is called intelligence. The use of intelligence is it doesn't allow you to enter incorrect uh, method name. So when I enter First, I want to disable my intelligence. Okay, I disable my intelligence. Now you see, the intelligence doesn't work here. It doesn't work in now. So, let me show you some steps how to work with, how to resolve that intelligence and how to get that intelligence back. Let's resolve this issue. Just follow these steps. First step, click on the toolbar, tool option, and second step, click on option. Third step, click on C shop, and fourth step, click on intelligence. Here, right side, you see complete list option. Just select on this checkbox and click on OK button. Welcome to .NET Code Snippet with Error Code Solution. In this video section, I'm going to discuss jQuery validation. After jQuery validation, button click event is not working. This is a issue, general issue. Normal uh, beginners face this problem. So I'm going to show you solution for this problem. I'm using my previous video project, which is this is my first name last name submit button this are the previous video session i use this project so i'm continuing this 